Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning for the week of January 20th through the 26th and I have this super pretty kit from Regina Laughs. I've been so excited to use this. This kit is called Winter Solstice and it's very wintry and snowy. Um, it's actually kind of ironic because I have a ton of snowy kits this year but not only does it not snow where I live, it's also been a really hot winter so far. Um, we have like 70 degree weather during the day and so um, it just doesn't feel super appropriate, but technically it is still winter, so I'm still going to be using those kits. Um, anyways, here we have the eight full boxes. We've got some washi strips and the bottom washi. Here we have three heart checklists. We have a weekend banner and a ton of functional boxes and icons. On this page, we have some deco, we have sidebar stuff, and some headers, both with writing and just with like patterns. And then the last little sheet I forgot to grab is this one. It comes with some pattern icons here at the top, and then some additional boxes, um, which is perfect because I like pulling in a ton of boxes in my planning. Um, so yeah, this is for the week that just passed. I'm pretty much all caught up in my planning. Um, I will start to film some additional videos now that I have a little more time. I did get some of your input last week about what videos you'd like to see, so um, I'll definitely start working on those when I can. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing me plan with this kit, then go ahead and stay tuned. For my bottom washi this week, I decided to use both the strips that came in the kit. And something I love about the kits from Regina Laughs is that her thinner strip of washi is like scalloped at the bottom and I just think it's so pretty. So I go ahead and place down the thicker washi strip first so I can layer the thinner scalloped one on top of it. I did have to white out the boulder lines on my Erin Condren so they did not peek through the washi. And then moving to my sidebar, I placed my favorite full box with the girl and her coffee cup at the very top. And then I used a scallop header from the kit with this This Week script sticker from Magic Prince Co. to start my sidebar. I then put down a habit tracker from the kit to mark my workouts. And the pen that I'm using this week is the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel Pen in 0.5. I felt like the thinner tip one would work really nicely with this kit because it's just a bit more dainty. For my happy moments, I placed down a washi strip with this gold foiled bow from Clever Gal Crafts and the heart checklist that came in the kit. And then moving to the bottom for my dinners, I used another strip of washi and pulled in this gold foiled utensil sticker from Hazel Sticker. And I also used the Monday through Sunday box that came with the kit. There was a little bit of space left at the bottom, so I pulled in a strip of washi from the kit just to close it out, and then I go ahead and move on to placing down all the date covers. Um, for this week, there were no date covers that were included in the kit, so I pulled these ones in from Hazel Sticker, and the date dots that I used are from Paper Rose Planning. On Monday, I first placed down a pattern header from the kit, and then I layered this gold foiled bow header from Sadie Stickers on top of that. I decided to use that combo every day for this week, so you'll see me pulling those in quite a bit. Um, I did a morning workout on Monday because Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and so we had the day off of work. I used a snowflake decoration from the kit paired with this shoe sticker from Hazel Sticker. I then met up with a friend and her boyfriend who I got to meet for the first time, very exciting, and we grabbed some dim sum. I realized that I've been having dim sum a lot lately, which I'm definitely not complaining about because it's super good, um, but to mark that, I used a half box with this adorable dim sum sticker from Mochi Kichi. We then went and grabbed some boba before they had to head out, so I used a quarter box with this gold foiled boba sticker from Hazel Sticker. At the bottom, I placed down a full box, and then continuing with the rest of the day, I used a to-do header with a three heart checklist to mark some things I did that evening. Um, I did quite a bit of cleaning, so I used this gold foiled vacuum sticker from Hazel Sticker. On Tuesday, I first placed down a today header with a quarter box, and um, then I pulled in this laptop sticker from the kit to mark that I uploaded a plan with me on Tuesday. I went back to work on that day, so I used a flag sticker with the coffee deco that came with the kit and a gold foiled morning coffee from Randy.Plans to mark that I grabbed some coffee in the morning before work. And then to mark my afternoon meeting, I decided to use the scallop label from the kit with a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. I put down a full box underneath that and then pulled in the bow header combo that I talked about earlier. At this point, I realized I didn't really have enough space to mark everything I wanted because that coffee cup I used was just a bit too large, so I decided to save some space and to mark my coffee, I pulled in a deco sticker and this coffee cup from Dizzy Daisy Dreams instead. 
That evening, I met up with a couple friends and we got some happy hour and Taco Tuesday. Um, so moving back to the bottom, um, to mark our Taco Tuesday, I decided to use a half box with this gold foiled heart from Hazel Sticker. And then after that, before I went home, I decided to stop by a nearby market to grab some things. And so I pulled in this grocery icon from Nicole Hutch Designs. Moving to Wednesday, at the very top, I put down a full box and I chose the one with the flowers. Then underneath that, I used another of my bow header combo to create a header for the day. I then pulled in this quarter box with a gold foiled check box from Samantha May Sticks to mark that one of my coworkers stopped by and picked something up from me on that morning. And then I did have an IEP meeting that day, so I used a half box with this IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs. I then worked on a bunch of reports that afternoon, so to mark that, I used a gold foiled pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks, and to avoid writing on whiteout, I decided to write what I was going to write on this little scrap sticker paper that I had laying around, and um, I cut those out as stickers to place on top of my planner. This is one of those little tricks that I like to use for when I don't feel like writing on my planner itself, and then um, underneath that, I used a washi strip with a workout sticker from Samantha May Sticks. I then remembered that I had these um, gold foiled holiday stickers from Chic Blossom Prints, and I wanted to use the MLK Junior one on Monday, so I go ahead and place that on top of the full box, but I think I put it a little crooked, so I actually pulled out my undo so I could fix that, although I'm not actually sure that I fixed the problem. It still kind of looks crooked. For some reason, I have a really hard time placing down script stickers straight. Moving back to Wednesday, at the very bottom, I cut up a heart checklist from my leftovers collection into two hearts to mark some things I did that night, and I did some filming, so I used a camera sticker that came with the kit. On Thursday, I first placed down the bow header combo I've been using, and then underneath that, I used a quarter box with this stressed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I encountered a somewhat stressful situation at work that morning, and then I used a gold foiled pencil sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark a meeting. I then moved to the bottom and placed down a full box first because I knew that's where I wanted the box. And then continuing with the day, I used this half box with another paperclip bow sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark another meeting I had that afternoon. And then I put down a today header with a three heart checklist to mark some things that I had to do that evening. Um, my boyfriend and I were heading out on a trip to the mountains with our friends the following day. So I had quite a few things that I needed to get done. Um, we had to go to Costco to pick up some things and then I wanted to bake some cookies. The adorable baking sticker is from Moji Kichi, and then on that washi strip I put down, I used a checkbox from Samantha May Sticks to mark that we had to pack. Then moving to Friday, I did still have work that morning before we headed out on the trip, so I first started by placing down a purple to-do header, and then I placed down that flag and coffee sticker that I had lifted up from Tuesday. Friday was a pretty uneventful day at work because I didn't really have any meetings or anything. Um, so when I got home, I did some editing. I put that on a scallop label and both of those gold foiled stickers are from Magic Prince Co. I then used a small strip of header to mark that I had to finish packing before we headed out. And then I placed down this full box in the middle of the day. At the very bottom, I placed down a full box and then I used another of the bow header combo that I've been doing and um, in the remaining space, I used a snowflake deco with a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that we drove up to Big Bear Mountain where we were hanging out with our friends for the weekend. This trip has been an annual tradition for this group of friends, so this is our ninth year doing it, and it's always super fun. We always love getting together and playing games and just hanging out. So Friday night when we get in, it's always party time. Everyone's super excited to see each other. And so to mark that, I use this beer sticker from Paper and Milk. Moving to the weekend, I cut down a washi strip that came in the kit into two strips so I could lay them across Saturday and Sunday, and I did that to create a background for my weekend banner, and then I realized that the bottom was cut really unevenly, so I decided to trim it with my slice precision cutter. I first put down the scallop label that I found in my leftover stash, and the gold foiled um, sleeping mask sticker is from Artbox Stickers. I wanted to use that to mark that I slept in on Saturday morning, but um, I realized that I wanted to place down a full box at the top instead, so I go ahead and lift that up, and then I place down one of those bow headers before replacing the scallop label. On Saturday, some of our friends decided to go snowboarding while others of us, like myself, um, stayed behind and played some games. So I cut up a heart checklist into two hearts to mark some of the games that we played. And I wanted to pull in this Maru sticker from Paper and Milk, but um, it didn't quite fit the way that I had written the games. And so I switched around the order so that I would have enough space. 
Then underneath that, I used a half box with a burger sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark where we got some dinner. We went to Big Bear Brewing and um, I had a burger, so that was perfect. At the very bottom, I put down a quarter box and then I moved really quick to the top um, because I realized that I had this Chinese New Year script sticker from Chic Blossom Prints again. Um, I do wish that it had said Lunar New Year because um, a lot of different Asian cultures celebrate the same New Year, so I would have preferred that instead. But this is the one that came with the sheet, so I just decided to use it anyway way moving back to the bottom on Saturday night um, as usual we decided to play a bunch of group drinking games which is always super fun so I decided to put that on the quarter box and I also pulled in the sticker from art box stickers I think it's like a stack of post-it notes I didn't have any foiled stickers that could represent game night so I just decided to use that one on Sunday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom and then I moved to the top and put down my bow header combo um, to start the day I then moved back to Saturday and like I said, I did switch things around because I wanted to jot down some of the games that we played later that night. Um, so I ended up taking out the heart checklist and I just wrote um, that we played life and code names in that small space. And then I moved up the half box and the quarter box so that I could make space for this bow checklist from White Deer Stationery to mark some things that we played. Then moving on to Sunday, um, as most of you probably know, Sunday was a really tragic day um, when we found out about the passing of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi, and also seven others who were involved in the helicopter accident that had happened. Um, we found out while we were still in Big Bear with our friends, and it was definitely really, really devastating news for all of us. And when I got to this part in my planning, I actually like broke down and started crying, and I had to pause because as a kid, I used to watch Lakers games with my dad. Um, who was a huge fan of Kobe so we would always watch that together and it was just something that we bonded on and were able to share together so it's always been like a really sweet memory of mine so even though I don't really watch basketball or the NBA I definitely still feel incredibly heartbroken about what happened and I just can't imagine how hard it is for you know those families that have lost a loved one and anyone who's just been you know an avid fan from day one so I feel like it's just been such a reminder of how beautiful and precious but also how fragile life is. Um, anyways, I know that was a long tangent, but it just felt like it was something really important to me that I wanted to share. Um, so thank you guys for understanding. And to mark that, I had used a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts. I then decided to place down some boxes to block out times of the day. So I first used this quarter box at the bottom and then this half box closer to the top. I put down the snowflake deco sticker with this gold foiled bow from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that um, before we left Big Bear, we all sat down and had a nice family breakfast together. And it was definitely a really nice way to end the trip. And then to mark driving home, I used a car sticker from Nicole Hedge Designs. On the quarter box, I wanted to mark that we watched Sex Education when we got home, and so I used this gold foil TV sticker from Magic Prince Co. Now I'm just moving back to my sidebar and I go ahead and track down my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. And um, once I'm done with that, I go ahead and show you guys all the stickers that I have left in this kit. And I will be including these into my next leftovers giveaway. So if you're interested in that, always be on the lookout. And now I'm just doing a quick viv wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I pulled into this kit. Um, because this kit didn't actually come with foils, I did have to pull in quite a bit myself to make it nice and shiny. And I'm just doing a walkthrough so you can see some of those details a little bit better in addition to the foil um, and yeah that pretty much concludes this week I feel like this was definitely a week of ups and downs um, I definitely had some wonderful memories created during this week but also some really devastating loss but you know such is life and we will always find our way back so anyways enough with my philosophical ramblings um, thank you guys so so much for joining me this week and for supporting my channel by watching my video if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down below or if you have any video ideas I'm still happy to take them and yeah thank you so much for watching again i hope you guys are all doing well and i wish you all the best for this week um and with that i will talk to you guys next time bye